Hello and welcome to another Toolbox tutorial. My name is Samuel Baumeister and today I'm going to show you through setting up bank rules in QuickBooks Online. So the first thing you need to know about bank rules is that they're an important part of automating your book work. Every bookkeeper and accountant likes bank rules because it cuts down our workload and even if you're not a bookkeeper, if you're a business owner looking after your own books, bank rules are essential and what they do is they stop the repetition of basic tasks. So an example might be here, navigating to the banking tab and having a look at some common expenses. So I can see under the spent column, I'm gonna create a rule for a common expense. And in this sample company I'm in, there are a lot of restaurant expenses. Let's assume that these are personal and I want all restaurant expenses to go to the meals and entertainment account. Option one would be clicking into each transaction, putting in the details, choosing the GST code and potentially leaving a little memo like restaurant, personal, meal. Now that's all fine and good, but over time, that's a lot of time wasted on something that doesn't really require human intervention. So let's set up a bank rule that automates the coding of anything with the word restaurant to meals and entertainment. So what you can do there is choose a transaction that you'd like to automate. So in this case, I've clicked into a restaurant line here and you can see here in the bank detail, the bank has sent through the line restaurant. Now being a, a demo file, this is a bit simplified, but Overall, you wanna look for a unique word on the bank text. So for example, um, it could be McDonald's, it could be um, Caltex, it could be Bunnings. The idea is that you get the unique part of the bank text to create the bank rule. If you choose something that's too broad or too specific, then the rule won't work properly. So you click on create rule from this transaction. So we'll click on that and it opens up the rule screen. Now what you'll notice is that QuickBooks has picked up the detail from the transaction we clicked on. It's got the description as restaurant and the amount as 2905. So the first thing we wanna do here is give it a name. So we're gonna call this restaurant personal meals. So that we know this rule relates to personal eating. It's for money out and we're going to apply it to all of the bank accounts. If you want the rule only to apply to one account, just tick the relevant account that you want it applied to. Second and most important part of the rule is to cull this down to one line. All we wanna focus on is the unique text that we're after. And so we wanna use restaurant as our unique text. So we're gonna change it to say, when a transaction has the bank text containing restaurant, we want it to do the following. And what we're gonna get that rule to do is create an expense with the payee as restaurant. We want it to categorize that to meals and entertainment with GST free as the tax code because we're going to assume that these meals are personal. In the memo, I normally copy the rule name in and this is what will show up on your reports for these transactions. So just to recap that, we give the, name, the rule a name, we specify that it's for withdrawals, so money out, and the bank accounts or credit cards it relates to. We then define the rule. When the bank text contains X, in this case restaurant, we want an expense created, coded to restaurant as meals and entertainment with no GST. And then we leave a memo. Once that's done, you wanna hit save, one thing I will mention is do not tick automatically add to my books because you still wanna approve that the transaction is correct before it disappears. So I'm gonna save that. And now you can see that, whoop, sorry, the demo file's getting carried away. Now you can see that the rule has applied for us on each line that has restaurant. The easiest way to test if your rule has activated correctly is to go back out to the banking screen. And if no rules have appeared, go back and check that you've set it up correctly. 
maybe you haven't put um, bank text contains restaurant. Maybe you made it too specific. So always work with that criteria. The simple thing then you can do is just click add and the rule will automatically send it to meals and entertainment with the details applied. You can also then bulk code these. So if I tick the three with rules on them and go to batch actions except, they all disappear. So there you go, that's how you set up a bank rule. Hope that helps and if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe this video.